YouTube, what is going on, man? This is your boy that called me BJ coming at you guys with the post commentary. And y'all know it wouldn't be a video if your boy didn't throw in the time lapse. So I have a time lapse of us tearing down the kit for uh, my homeboy Noah Smith. That's who you saw smacking earlier in the video. He had a show with the homie YG Tut uh, at High Clods. I think this was like a week ago, week and a half ago, something like that. But the rest of the band was killing as well. My boy Jared White was on bass. Uh, PJ was on keys. It was my first time actually meeting PJ. Um, he was a mutual friend of Noah. So shout out to the homie. It was nice meeting him. He actually has something to say to the camera. So I'm about to let him talk yeah, right, right there. The kick and snare one can stay. Uh, put him on his desk. I'll put him in his bag. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm talking to the camera. Oh, this nigga. <laughs> Listen, bro. I look like a slave right now. What the? I'm Christ like. <laughs> <laughs> Christ like. So yeah, guys, shout out to PJ for that quick uh, intermission break. <laughs> so uh, after we ended up breaking down, we all just decided to follow each other over the class. It was like a two second drive. Like it wasn't too far at all. Everybody was already like in the downtown area. So we pulled up the class. Uh, I just helped Noah load in the drums and stuff. Told the homies I would be back later that night to see them uh, go on. So that's what I'm going to pick up with right now when I'm in the car. Yo, your boy is driving back to the crib. I just helped uh, Noah set up over at High Clyde's for their show tonight. My boy Jared's going to be on bass. And I just met the homie PJ on keys. So that's going to be their band tonight for Touch Set. Uh, I ended up just pulling up. I was gonna help replace some heads on the kit, but my boy already beat me to it, so I just pulled up and just chilled out while they was, while they was rehearsing. But I'm about to head back to the crib, change clothes and all that stuff, and then I'm gonna head back downtown for the show tonight. Check back in. Uh, I will see you guys then. Yo, checking back in. We just pulled up the clouds. This car from the hitters. Got my boy Shannon with me, the OG, rocking with me since middle school days probably oh, before then coming, but yeah we, we just pulled up the class i'm gonna check out the boys the homies from the smack and if i don't check back into the end of the night because we had too many drinks and <laughs> it was a good night so we'll check back in with y'all whenever we check back in Yo. <laughs> I don't need 
the plate Do I have a size at 15? They don't even fuck that shit Go black Go hard and niggas retarded I do this for my niggas with blinkers Don't be a target I do this for my single mothers Who ain't got the patience to fall the cherry I don't know where the fuck is at I ain't waiting for no hand out Bitch at this place now I stand out like a bump on your lip I'm a pimp What they say is shit Make that house up for me Yo, YouTube checking back in. So, crazy enough, honestly, I was not really planning on recording like any footage like this entire weekend. We had some stuff come up. So, I knew that it was going to be like a lot of events and things of that nature going on. However, like when Noah hit me up to come to the studio, that just kick started me like pretty much recording content for the weekend. And I was just like, I'm in content mode. Let's go ahead and get it out. So, as you guys can see, that night went really well. Uh, the homies killed it. Uh, Tut brought out the homie uh, Mikey D and Chris P uh, on stage as well as Elijah so they killed that joint it was great to see everybody together on stage um, and then the next night the homie Suavo had like a event for just people in the city to come out and show love so people were performing in addition to just networking and also the homie Iggy was there doing his podcast So I did a quick segment on his podcast I didn't get any footage of that unfortunately I didn't have anybody to record me But uh, that was nice to have a quick sit down with him We just chopped it up And talked about like kind of what I had coming up next In terms of like releasing music And artists that I plan on working with Production wise and all that stuff So it was super cool to just vibe out um, We lounged out And then we listened to um, the homegirl Lavender, man, I ain't heard her perform in so long And she had a killer set 
with my boy DJ on drums from the drum clinic uh, a few videos ago, as well as Jared was on bass, and then uh, one of the OGs, Monty, was on keys that I played. I played at his church when I was like a senior in high school as well as like my sophomore year of college. I came back to Chattanooga. So like everybody in the scene knows each other. That's pretty much that's pretty much a well-known fact in any scene that you go to any city. But it's just cool to see everybody once again in one kind of weekend. I haven't had that in like in a while. So it was very good to just see everybody and chop it up. And we just enjoyed it, man. We had a good time. <laughs> Well guys, it's going to wrap it up for this video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. This was like another kind of Dan and Life kind of vibe that kind of happened spontaneously. So shout out to North for hitting me up just out the blue because <laughs> uh, that kind of kickstarted this whole this whole just recording day. So man, I hope you guys have a blessed day. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the content. Shout out to all the homies that was in the video that made this possible. And uh, yeah, like I said, we're on the road to 100 subscribers. So please hit that subscribe button. This is your boy BJ signing off. And until the next one, I will see you guys later. Deuces.